sitting there judging it. He's a very special person. Because a lot of things are not straightforward. You need a judge to interpret your behavior. That this thing you have done, it is equal to this type of sin. Yes. Because you have a nice voice, you don't practice, you don't train, you are not passionately pursuing. Because when you step on the stage, the voice just comes. Even the people who spend all nights practicing don't sing at your level. The fact that there is no, you, you are not seeking to be better, seeking something, it's a sign that you don't really love. You may be doing what you are doing for another reason. That's why I, I was in the toilet. I was listening to Papa Hagen this morning. Oh, yes. Because I'm looking for something. Pursuit is a clear indicator of love. What did I say? Pursuit. There can't be any clearer indicator of passion and love and interest in something than pursuit. Yes. I'm telling you that you may be, you may just be a good singer, but you don't love what you are doing. Yes. I'll say it again. Pursuit is the greatest indicator of interest and love. I, I, I told somebody, I said, I traveled, I've been away for four, four weeks. Not even a text message to ask me how I am doing. Not one text message. You don't love me. You don't love, your words don't mean anything. I'm telling you. When you come around me, oh, daddy, can we have lunch? Daddy, can we? I will only tolerate you in acquiescence. Yes, make you feel that I agree with your mood. But I know I'm very intelligent. Very intelligent. One text message. I've not been here before. It's one, one, one. Please. She was in town. Why is the place quiet? I thought you were going to clap and shout it. The, she was in town. When you, he said, have, he didn't say, have you found my husband? He said, have you found my beloved? He said, have you found him whom my soul is in love with this man? Kai. Love, if you love, the feelings will drive you. Any man in your life, you must beg to marry you. kept my word back. I shouldn't use such words in church. She was roaming the streets. So you, know, you think she has lost her phone? So, so, so the watchman came to ask, Madam, we've seen you roaming around. What is, are you well? Then she stopped and asked her, I'm well. My soul loves somebody. And I'm looking for him. My soul loves somebody. Feelings. Feelings. Don't use words. Never listen to people's words. Never use the words of men, intelligent men, as the barometer of their intentions. Never. 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 Madam, what's wrong? We've been watching you. You are on all the CCTVs. That's why we have come out to look for. Is that a problem? Is someone chasing you? Is someone after you? Why are you roaming around? He said, I have a room. My room is air conditioned. I have a bed. But I'm looking for somebody. Kai! And then she asked them, the watchman, who has seen her on CCTV, that have you seen any man around here? He's tall and slim with a big head, but my soul loves him. 
nobody who is in love with God will sit down for God to find her. You, that's why I say, he that seeks me early shall find me. Your restrained, composed, tacit, placid, unruffled disposition betrays the lack of love in you for God. You can put a thousand dollars in the offering bag, but your calmness is saying something about you. When I was young, I took my money. I was 16 years. Some small, small two by four money. I saved and saved. I went from bookshop, challenge, Methodist book depot, whatever. I was looking for a Bible. I was looking for a Bible. Later on, I found one that my money could sow. I bought it. I held the Bible. It's, it's something I can't find now. It pains me. My first Bible I bought. Can you say that too? By your first Bible? Have you ever bought a Bible before? Have you bought a Bible before? Are you born again? You are born again? When did you get born again? Last week? Or two weeks ago? <laughs> More than three months. Have you bought a Bible before? Yeah. You have a Bible. That's your auntie's engagement Bible. <laughs> Love will move you. It will move you. Can I read something as I end? I'll read something to you. Listen carefully. Listen to this. If you love the Lord, you will go after him. I didn't finish with it. I read verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. Can we read verse 4? Look at verse 4. It will excite you. Look at verse 4. Look at verse 4. He said, It was but a letter that I passed from them. But I found him whom my soul loved. Real love. You can never not find God. You can never not find what anything you love. If you really love it, you will find it. If you really love a full basenta service, you will be driven to find it. If you really love to sing well, you will find it. When you see anybody not passionate in following after somebody, you know that the person does not love. I found him. It may take three years. I want to, mommy, can you stand up? Can you see the church? See the empty chairs? You watch it. Ten, see empty chairs, a day is going to come every chair will be full Amen. you watch it fear a man with passion don't fear a man with money he's just empty talk passion anything you want with love I'm talking to somebody online the reason you don't have it is because you are not interested in it if you want to marry you will marry next year If you want to serve God, nothing will stop you. Paul said, I am persuaded. I'm now convinced that nothing, nothing shall separate me from the love of God. Nothing. Nakedness, persecutions, pain, poverty, height, depth, angels, principalities. I am persuaded. Those who are truly in love, I, my, my greatest wish for you is a wish that you will love God. If I have any wish for you, it won't be that you go to Princeton, that you go to law school. It won't be that you will have money, but it will be that you will love God. I pray for you. And listen. So by night, I found him whom my soul loved. You will always go seeking after the one you love. 
I'm ending now. I'm reading to end. It's a romantic way of ending a message. <laughs> if you love the Lord, you will go after him. Listen carefully, I'm ending. No comment after this. Love is often assessed by who started it all. And who went after whom? If you seek someone, if you follow someone, if you pursue someone, it is assumed that you have great love for the person. <laughs> I didn't even know this. I was just talking. I, I'm surprised that my words have flashed through this. I'll take it again. And I'm reading it to you so that you will judge the man who will marry you. You will know whether you are going to marry a prison warden or a man who loves you. Now, listen, stand up. Let me read it to you. If you seek someone, if you follow someone, if you pursue someone, very good. Play it well, my dear. Play it well. Beautiful. I'll take it again. Take it again. Uh, you said you have missed me. How come you are angry now? How come you are upset now? Please, that's the only one I'm reading to. If you seek someone, if you follow someone, if you pursue someone, it's assumed that you have great love for that person. If you pursue someone, it is assumed that you are the one with the passion, the feelings, and the desire. Now listen to this one. This is an anecdote. When people have an illegitimate affair, adultery and all those for adults, <laughs> there is usually an argument afterwards about who went after who. You started it. You came after me. You pursued me. You hunted me down. You initiated it several times. These are the common accusations and counter accusations from those who are falling in and out of love. Married couples have fallen out of love when they do not initiate love games. Let me move away from you. Can you please stand up? Married couples have fallen out of love when they do not initiate love games. Listen to this. I am there. I'm available. I never say no. These are the comments, common statements from couples that are no longer in love. I may not initiate love, but I'm available if he wants to do anything. Surely, these are statements that come from those who are past loving. I'm there. He can come. There is no seeking of anyone by anyone. There is no more love. By night, I sought him whom my soul loved. Say feelings. feelings. God also assesses love by who seeks whom. Do you seek God? Do you initiate love? Do you start the relationship with God? Do you find time to wait on him? Do you go away and spend time in his presence? Spending a lot of time praying prayers that have been organized by your church is not the same as you going on your own to seek the Lord. I sought him whom my soul loveth.
you will always go seeking after the one you love because you have feelings. Stand to your feet. Keep clapping. Keep clapping your hands. Ask God to put a little feeling in you. Oh, yes. Lift your hand. Ask him for passion. Yes. Passion. Compassion. compassion. Remember, compassion made the difference between priest and Levite and the Samaritan. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pray that from today, passion. your walk with God will not be characterized by anhedonia. And hedonia. The lack of capacity to have pleasure. I need someone to pray. Passion. Yes. Feelings. Yes. If you don't have feelings for, for God, a man will give you feelings. Ha! Joseph told the woman who was going to give him feelings that hey. A man gives me feelings already. I'm in love with God. I will never allow you. I'm already in a relationship filled with feelings. I'm saying that if you don't develop feelings for God, a woman will give you feelings. Betty will give you feelings. Pornography will give you feelings. Sin will give you feelings. Evil will give you feelings. Lift your two hands, everybody now. Now begin to pray with feelings, with passion, with energy. Open your mouth. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. And pray. Clap your hands and pray. Somebody clap your hands and pray. Rako Sadaya Mandia, the baby. Ilia Badaya, Kalia Mandia, the baby. Rama Mama Sakataya Badia, the baby. Lift up your voice and pray, somebody. Lift up your hands and pray, somebody. Clap your hands and pray, somebody. Somebody shout and pray out to the Lord. Clap back at Ayah Baba. Lay back at Ayah Baba. Ah, somebody, let go of your cool prayers. Somebody, let go of your calm prayers. Somebody, let go of your diplomatic prayer. Pray. Bravo, Sata Kataya Baba. Lima Kataya Baba. Pray out to the Lord. La Pataya Baba. La Mama 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 Baba. Lapa, I'm a man of the 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 
Marriages are spoiled because of coolness. I'm telling you. Many people have lost favor in their workplace because of coolness. Because where people have showed passion, you have been cool. Look, before you hear this, every no look, nobody who has any wisdom trusts a cool person. Nobody. When we are all on fire. Our eyes are red. Like, the, the month is ending. We have not met our target. You are cool. We can't trust you. We can't trust you. We can't trust. It's not only here. We can't trust you. Yeah. Some of you are standing here. You have lost your place, even in your workplace, because of coolness. I'm telling you. Because of coolness. Because of a lack of passion and a lack of compassion. A lack of feelings. Look, feelings are recognized, valued everywhere So finally, we want to pray that the evil spirits that make us cool. Oh, yes. The evil spirits. The evil spirits. You see, Gosh. like, <laughs> you say you have a beloved. When you see her, you are cool. You are calm. When you see him, you are calm. You are cool. No excitement. It is an evil spirit. And that evil spirit will one day cause a divorce. It's an evil spirit. But for just one or two minutes, Jesus. today I want us to lift our hands ah, and bind evil spirits that make us come. Evil spirits that make us come. It is not a sign of maturity. It's a sign of carnality. I'm telling you. Lift up your voice and pray. Bind them. By the evil spirit, 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 Lick us at the bar, lick us at the bar, lick us at the salaba, ma and dilebo satose, rata pata satose, impressa tayaba, rata to sataba, impressa yaba, lick us to set, impressa yaba, lick us tayaba, we find us, we cast our focus, every spirit that has taken control over our lives, we find them. We cast them out in the name of Jesus. We cast out of oh God the spirit of depression. We cast out of oh God the spirit of fear. We cast out of oh God mass and anxiety in the name of Jesus. We cast them out. Now. Hey, now, 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 now,
Lift your hands and say this after me. Jesus. Say from today. From today. I will not harbor demons. I will not harbor demons. Say the spirit of diplomacy. The spirit of diplomacy. Coolness. Coolness. Calmness. Calmness. From today. From today. The spirit. The spirit. That is unaffected. That is unaffected. By anything. By anything. In the house of God. In the house of God. I bind it. I bind it. I block it. I block it. I refuse it. I refuse it. It's not a good spirit. It's not a good spirit. By revelation. By revelation. I declare. I declare. That they are demons. That they are demons. And I want none of them. And I want none Clap of them. Clap your hands and bind them again. Bind that spirit. In the name of Jesus. We bind them. We cast them out. Of our hands. Listen, I've told you, I told you to beware of this girl, calmness, restrained, calm, cool, diplomatic disposition. She's full of demons. I told you. Now, watch out for that in you yourself. In you yourself. When you find yourself quiet, know that evil spirits are playing football in your mind. At least, you must tell yourself that this, the way I am, I can't get a husband. Any man who marries me is a fool. Any man who marries me is a fool. Or he, ha- he doesn't understand life. That's why he will choose a woman like me. A calm and cool woman like me. Thinking that I'm going to give him happiness. We are going to bind ah. the demon. Ah. We are going to bind the, yes. We call them United Nations demons. Yes. Clap your hands and bind them. There's nothing in there. I'm telling you. It doesn't talk. In the name of Jesus. You say demons. Never straight forward. Draw it. Online. Draw it. Whenever you find yourself quiet, moody, whatever, tell yourself, hey! Hey. The thing is coming. Yes. Find a verse. Ah, Put on some first love music. Play and dance it out. Hey. Why do you think there is dancing in the Bible? These are all anti demon interventions. Yes. Sing. And don't sing dirges. Sanya metie biara. Jobarehuni. Are you Job? Is your first name Job? Lift your hands and thank God for today. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your work. Thank you, Lord, for this revelation. Thank him for thank today. you, Lord, for your deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your deliverance. Pastors, Basenta leaders, shepherds, pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every eye closed, every head bowed. Somebody invited you to church today. Oh, you've been coming to church, but you discovered that, Charlie. You are just in church, oh. You are not born again. Jesus is not the Lord of your life. I want to pray for you this morning. Before we close the service, I want to say, Pastor, please pray for me. 
I want to be born again. I want to be born again. Pastor, lead me in a simple prayer. I want to know Jesus. If you are here like that, you want to give your life to Jesus. You want to turn your back to the world. Back to sin. Back to ungodliness. You want to serve God. You want to walk with him. You want to be born again. Lift your hands. Lift your right hand. Yes, yes. Lift it high. Pastor, pray for me. I want to know Jesus. Lift it high. I see your hand. I can see your hand. I tell you, everybody has his day. Today may be your day. And I'm saying that if you have not given your life to Jesus, today is the day you've been looking for. Lift your hand high above your head. High, high. I see your hand. High above your head. Pastor, pray for me. Today, I come to Jesus. I see at the back. I see at the back. I see. And if your hand is lifted up, I want you to come to me in here now. Come. come I want to pray with you here. Come, come now. Running. Come running. Come running to the mercy seat where come Jesus running. is calling. Come His running. His grace will be your covering. Come running. His love will flow freely. It will provide your healing. Come running yes. to the mercy Close your eyes, everyone. And lift your hands, please. And join us to say this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, from today, I surrender my life to you. I make you my master, my Lord, my Savior. Please receive me. Please wash my sins. I have sinned. I've done wicked things. I've done wicked things. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. And wash me. And wash me. Today. Today. I turn my back. I turn my back. To the world. To the world. To sin. To sin. To bad friends. To bad friends. And I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. I'm going to walk with I'm you. I'm going to walk with you. Thank you, Heavenly Thank Father. You, Heavenly Father. For my salvation. For my salvation. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. This prayer has opened the door for Jesus to come into your life. But somebody must help you. Somebody must teach you. Somebody must say, this is wrong. This is good. Let us pray. Somebody will read the Bible, explain it to you, and help you to grow up. Now, I'm a full-grown Christian. But 40 years ago, I didn't know my left and my right. So today, I'm handing you over to this. Can you see the lady there and the man? Can you see them? Yes. I want you to ask to go to them. They are going to talk to you. They are going to help you. Let's go. Clap your hands for them. Keep clapping for them. You must love to see souls saved. Bible says in heaven there's rejoicing when these things happen. There's feelings in heaven when souls are saved. Can I see some feelings in people?